You've probably heard the popular term big data, referring to large and complex data sets that go beyond traditional data processing tools. But with big data comes big challenges. For example, how and when should you collect or analyze big data? Statistics professor Jeff Vining urges caution in relying on big data. There are people claiming with big data we can solve all problems. And my experience with it is that big data often doesn't solve any problem. Being passive and looking at big data often can pose interesting questions. It's often very good for exploring a problem, uh, even before you even have concrete questions. It can provide a wonderful basis for coming up with things to, for further exploration. But I've spent a career trying to be very efficient with data. You know, I can come up with techniques that once we have these questions, that the big data may be the only way to suggest the question. Often I can find a find, once I've got that question, once I understand it with some, some clarity, I can find faster and better ways to confirm what the answer is. Vining says there are practical uses of big data. It can be a helpful inspection tool in manufacturing. For example, it's possible to inspect images for potential defects in very large batches of products. Now we have the equipment that we can get an image for basic parts manufacturing. And how can we use that image to effectively inspect the product completely automatically? The techniques that we would be using for this uh, borrow from image uh, analysis used in biomedical, you know, looking at uh, um, MRIs. Now that we're beginning to develop things like how to do formal statistical tests on images, well, I've got colleagues who know how to convert that into something like a control chart, which would then allow us to really take full advantage of the big data, the image data. Uh, and I'm excited about this because this is different than most uses of big data.